Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy and this time I'm doing another book haul. This one is from April and every book that I got here I got for $4 total. Um, so I went to library book sale and they have this thing where once a month you can fill an entire paper bag with whatever books will fit in there and it's $4 so that's what I did. Um, these are all used and or old library books. Um, so, yay, supporting the library, especially since I work there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's actually a pretty big book haul just because I got a ton of books for super cheap. And sometimes I was just throwing books in there like, it's going to cost the same whether or not I get this book. So let's give it a chance. So <laughs> once I got to the point where it's going to cost me $4 anyway, the rest of them were just kind of like, I might as well get these. Oh, I don't know where they're going to go, but I own them now. <laughs> Um, so the first book I have is Bridget Jones' The Edge of Reason by Helen Fielding. This is the second book in the Bridget Jones series. Um, I honestly can't remember if I've read this book or not. I know I read the first one when the movies came out. Basically this one picks back up with Mark Darcy and Bridget Jones and all of Bridget's chaotic um, life and stories. Basically just more Bridget Jones. Also I own the first book so now I have two of them. Ooh, yeah. So also by Helen Fielding, I have Cause Celeb, and this one um, focuses on this refugee camp in Africa. So Rosie uh, decides to escape her life, go to Africa, she sets up a refugee camp, and then they have this influx of people flooding into this camp because of a famine outbreaking. Um, apparently they have a bunch of celebrities also visiting, and... <laughs> It just sounds interesting and yeah, I like Bridget Jones, so hopefully I will also love this book. It sounds intriguing. So the next book is Wedding Night by Sophie Kinsella, and honestly, I just saw Sophie Kinsella's name and said I need that book. Um, so this one follows Lottie, who thinks her boyfriend's about to propose, and when he doesn't, um, she's devastated. And then when she runs into an old boyfriend, they decide to reconnect and just they go for it and get married on a whim. Um, I love chiclet, basically. Next up I have A Royal Pain by somebody, Megan Mulry. <laughs> um, this one's about Bronte who starts dating this one guy who's British and then she finds out that he's actually a duke. Um, which she was not expecting and then like the whole uh, aristocracy in Britain. Um, it sounds awesome. I'm on a fairy tale kit, guys. Okay, just go with it. Also, I have The Runaway Princess by Hester Brown. I love Hester Brown's writing, and I have already read this book, so I know I love it. In fact, I've already read this exact same copy because it came from my library branch where I checked it out. So, this is another story um, about a girl dating a royal and not really knowing it. Um, this one, her boyfriend's Prince Leopold, and he's actually heir to a throne and all the complications that, like, running a government and being in the spotlight causes. Um, it's utterly perfect. I also have Insatiable that Meg Cabot. This one involves vampires and basically I love the Princess Diaries books by Meg Cabot so we're gonna try this one. Vampires. That's what I got from it. Go through these quickly because there's a ton of them. I saw Son of a Witch by Gregory Maguire. This is the sequel to Wicked um, which is a uh, kind of twisted retelling of uh, The Wizard of Oz. And I want to say Alice in Wonderland. Um, so this is a sequel to Wicked, which tells The Wizard of Oz from the perspective of the Wicked Witch. And this one, apparently, there's a boy who's the son of a witch. Um, I honestly haven't read Wicked yet, to be honest. I own it, but I haven't read it yet. Like, I, I saw the musical. Um, I should probably do that. But I got the book because it didn't cost me anything extra to get this one. Next up, I have The Namesake by Jimpa Lahir. Lahiri. I should not pronounce that name and don't. Um, basically, I've seen the movie for this and really loved it, so got the book also. Um, it's about this uh, American who comes from this Indian family, and so he goes to find out about his past by going back to India. Um, I liked the movie, so now we're gonna read the book. Probably. I don't know if this might be 
really far on my TBR list. I also got A Spot of Bother by Mark Haydon, and I love the title of this book. Also, I have The Curious Incident of a Dog in the Nighttime uh, to read, which is also written by him. Um, that's like a book read, a book group read. So um, hopefully, once I finish that, I will want to also read more of his books. So with that in mind, I got A Spot of Bother. I also got The Road by Cormac McCarthy. And honestly, I think I got this mixed up with On the Road by Jack Korak. Um, this one is a dystopian story about like the end of the world and it's not zombies, but it sounds like a zombie book. End of the world apocalypse stuff. Is that actually my favorite genre? Like I said, I, I think I got this mixed up with another book. Um, but we'll, we'll see maybe if I read it. This one was interesting because I'd never heard of it and now I cannot wait to read it. Um, it is Blind by Rachel. Waskin and this focuses on a teenage girl who loses her sight and kind of exploring what it's like to go through the process of um, going blind, especially when you're young. I also got the book Thief by Marcus Suzak, um, going along the theme of books that I've seen movies for but haven't actually read the book yet. Um, I like the book um, Death's the Narrator and that's always a fascinating thing to me when we get into like the head of the Grim Reaper type character. Um, and it focuses on World War II and, um, is it in Germany or a Nazi occupied area? Um, and just this young girl seeing World War II happen around her. Um, the movie's awesome, so hopefully, and other people said that they love the book, so we're gonna try to read it. I also got The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Loved the Revels There by Catherine M. Valente. So the girl who circumnavigated fairyland in a ship of her own making is definitely one of my TBR books. So when I saw this one, I got it. Hopefully I really like this series because now I've got, I think it's book three. <laughs> but it sounds interesting with the fairies and um, bits of like technology and stuff. Um, I really don't want to know a whole lot about these before I get into them because I don't want it to be like spoiled or like have preconceived notions. Um, but basically the first book's already on my TBR, so now this one I have ready to go. I got The Western Game by Alan Raskin, and this is a murder mystery, um, which I, I read in middle school and super loved, so now we're going to try to read it as an adult. Um, it's kind of like an Agatha Christie type story. Um, sort of clue where we have this millionaire getting murdered and then trying to figure out who did it. Um, and whoever figures out who won apparently wins the Westing's Millions. I didn't remember that plot point, but it's on the back of the book. Um, but I know I love this book as a kid, so hopefully I will still love it as an adult. Hopefully. I also got Surprised by Joy by C.S. Lewis. This is an autobiography of his younger years. Um, and his faith journey. So C.S. Lewis is a Christian author. He wrote the Chronicles of Narnia books and the Prelandia of the Silent Planet books and a lot of Christian um, novels, books, not novels. Well, he wrote the Screw Tape Letters. Um, so interested to read his autobiography, uh, especially since I've read some of the other books, um, read the Nar Narnia books, but like some of the other adult books. Um, so, so. I also got Sweet Thursday by John Steinbeck. This takes place in the same location as Canary Row. Um, and basically you have a lousy Wednesday, which is just one of those bad days, and the day after it is Sweet Thursday. Um, and it follows a bunch of different people's lives, apparently, including Fiona, the new headmistress at the local brothel, to Hazel, a bum whose mother must have wanted a daughter. It's got a very vague book blurb on the back basically and I don't really know what it's about but it's John Steinbeck and he's one of my favorite authors and it's a short book like most of his books are that are not East of Eden and Grease of Wrath. So um, hopefully that will also be awesome. And then more books that I should have read but haven't. I have two books by Henry James. Um, the Turn of the Screw with other short stories short novels and the american and i don't really know what's about what either of these is about um but he's one of those big authors so let's see the american is about 
Christopher Newman, who's an American millionaire in France who falls in love with a beautiful aristocrat, Clara de Belgrade, and her family is taken aback by his brash American manners, rejects his proposal of marriage, and then Newman discovers a guilty secret about the Belgrade's past, and he confronts a moral dilemma. Should he expose them and thus gain his revenge? How does that not sound intriguing? And Turn of the Screw. So this one has Turn of the Screw, Daisy Miller, an international episode, The Aspern Papers, The Altar of the Dead, and The Beast in the Jungle. Um, short story, so if I don't like it, I only have to read one. I also have two Indiana Jones books that I didn't know existed. I love it when I find books that I didn't know existed. Um, hopefully these are good. So the first one is Indiana Jones and the Sky Pirates, and the second is Indiana Jones and the White Witch, and these apparently both take place before the first movie, um, but after the young Indiana Jones uh, series. Um, so I love Indiana Jones and excited for new adventures. Yay. Hopefully these are good. Please let these be good. They don't have to be amazing, but just be decent, please. And the last book I got was uh, Mondori's Italian English Pocket English Italian Dictionary. Basically, I don't have an Italian English dictionary yet. Um, so now I do. I don't have to go to Google Translate all the time now. Um, although I'll probably still use Google Translate quite a bit because that's what I do with other languages, including French, which I theoretically should know. Yeah. So there's my book haul. All those books for four dollars. How can you beat that? Um, also, it didn't cost much to buy these, so if I end up not reading them, no harm, no foul. Just donate them back to the library and they go back to the book sale for somebody else to buy. Um, let me know in comments below if you have read any of these books, whether you like them or hate them, or if you're interested in any of these books, whether you're going to read them yourself or you want me to do a book review, I'll take suggestions. Um, yeah. Also, if I misinterpreted any of these books and didn't describe it properly, feel free to correct me in the comments below. Yeah. So, peace out. I love you guys. Keep reading. Bye.